Hello YouTube, welcome once again to Super Millionaire! Yay! This time around though, we've only got one player in the hot seat, and that is Connor Mayrose. Hello everyone! As for everyone else in this call, you are very welcome to help him out. So Connor, you know the rules, you know the lifelines. Let's play Super Millionaire! Oops, hold on. Let me share the window. Yay! Yay. There's Marty! Marty's here! Oh. Yay, we're doing Super Millionaire now. Cool. Oh, I'm sorry, Marty. Did you <gasps> did you want to play? Mm, not right now. I'm printing something out right now. Okay, anyway, Connor. First question. What are magnets attracted to? Iron? Glass, plastic, all the single ladies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's definitely not a D. Um, that's not B or C. I'll say A, iron. Yeah. It's very good. They're attracted to iron or other metal. All oh, the single ladies. All oh, the single ladies. <laughs> Going for 2000. Oh, that was pretty loud to be a cheek magnet. A recent, <laughs> a recent infamous oil spill originated from an oil rig belonging to what company? Shell, Exxon, BP, BHP Billiton. Mm, oh boy. Uh, I'm gonna ask uh, the people on this call, Carla, Hunter, and Steve and Marty. Do you guys know the answer? How how easy it is. Yeah. I don't want to waste it. I mean, I guess I might have to. So I'm gonna ask the other audience. Audience, Connor needs to help. On your keypads, using A, B, C, or D. Please vote now. Oh boy. <laughs> 82% of the audience said BP. Oh. Okay, we'll go with the audience. C. The audience is right once again. Ooh. One for 3,000. Yeah. Which of these stringed instruments would you not find at a standard classical quartet? A guitar, violin, viola, violoncello. God. Um. I think I know this. Okay, Carla. What do you think? I'll go with guitar because that doesn't sound right. Yeah, I'm gonna go with guitar, yeah. Because I think violin and viola and violin mean the same thing, so I'm gonna go with guitar. It's a good one for $4,000. Yay! Yay! Good job, Carla. That actually didn't make sense. Yeah. For 4000 which bird is frequently referred to as a peafowl? Turkey, eagle, bluebird, owl. Peafowl. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. I'm thinking about uh. Thinking between a turkey and a eagle. Still got a fifty-fifty, and you could still use it for a friend. God, it's so early. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's go with 50-50. Computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Connor just the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Eagle <gasps> or owl? Oh, that makes it easy now. Okay, um, what do you guys think? I think it's owl. I think the female is eagle. Okay, uh, then I'll go with the owl. That's right, owl is also known as a peafowl. Oh, thank you. Four for 5,000. In 2009, LG released a new cell phone called the Renoir, a name referring to its special what? Oil free screen, 5 megapixel camera. Lightweight, 
large amount of internal memory. Oh boy. Gosh. Well, I never heard that you so long, so... Um... I'm thinking between a high megapixel camera or... Oh. Don't worry. Yeah, hang on. There we go. Yeah, I was thinking maybe B or... Uh, I think B or A. Uh... Or D. Um, I can't... They all sound right to me. Yeah, but one of them is actually wrong. Let's go with B. A 5 mega megapixel camera. It's the right answer! You got $5,000! Yes! Alright. $50,000 for me! $5,000! Oh, $5,000. Oh my god. <laughs> this is question number six, and it's worth $10,000. On which continent would you find the famed Amazon River? Asia. Europe. North America. South America. Oh, oh boy. Well, the Amazon River, um, I believe it's not Asia or Europe, um, I'll say North America. I no, I'd say, wait, I'll go. I'd say South America. You sure? Yeah, because I don't think the Amazon River is in North America, go D. Alright, I'll go with Carla, so South America, I think you're right. Final, final answer? Yeah. yeah, final answer. D. Very good. My goodness, Carla, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad Carla yeah, caught you on that I one, know Connor. That. I've never heard of North America. I have. Anyway, question number seven is worth $20,000. In the Harry Potter series, a muggle is someone who cannot do what? Perform magic. Fly a broom, mix a potion, pass Hogwarts. Oh dear. Well, that's not D. Um, I'm not sure if it's C. I doubt it. So, I think it might be before magic. It might be, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. So, I think I'll go with that. Final answer? What do you think, Carla? Go with what, just go what you feel. If you feel it's more magic, do it. If not, if you find a friend. Right, I just don't want to waste it right away. Okay. Alright. Um, let's go before magic, yeah, let's go with that. Before magic, final answer. Your gut feeling was right, you got $20,000! Yes! Alright! Yay! This is question number eight, and it's worth thirty grand. Okay. Which of the following bands performed at the 2010 Super Bowl? Oh, God. The Rolling Stones? The Beatles? The Who? Danzig? I think I might know this one. Oh, what is it? I think it's the Rolling Stones. Hmm, okay. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking too. I don't think it's the Beatles because they're very um. There's only two of them left. Though. Yeah, I'm gonna say the Beatles. Yeah, I'm just yeah. Wait, wait. I want to. I want to remind you. You still have your phone, a friend. Right, but I'm gonna keep it, and I'm gonna stick with uh, Carla's answer. The Rolling Stones. Final answer. I think it is the Beatles. Uh oh, they're they're wrong. Oh well. It's the wrong answer. Oh, it's, oh, it's the no. who. Oh, well. Oh, it's the who. Connor, you leave us with $5,000. Oh, it's okay. I'm happy. Oh, Alright, it's good. Anyone else want to be in the hot seat? Well, I suppose I could try it again. Yay! Go, oh, you want to try it again for $10 million, Carla? No problem. Sure. Oh, <laughs> I, I didn't do... I got... I-I got- I understand the last one, let's do this. Okay, but hang on, let me switch up the questions real quick. Okay. And while I do that, we're gonna take a commercial break. Don't go away.